Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I am more busy even than usual. Don't know how that's possible. So I know it's been a while since i uh, been talking about politics. We're going to talk about the same shit. Why? Because they keep, the Virginia Democrats keep on doing the same shit. And I, this is not getting national coverage. Uh, bigger YouTubers are not talking about these specific things. Usually when they talk about Virginia, they, they just talk about the gun stuff, which was you know, very important. I'm really glad that so many big YouTubers did talk about something that's going in, going on in my backyard. I was happy that they were spreading uh, coverage about that. But uh, that's just one of many things that the Democrats have been doing. Uh, a good number of their bills failed. A good number of their bills did pass. Uh, so unfortunately, gun rights did take a blow in this uh, state. And then just in my last political video, I talked about the meal tax they're increasing. But that was just the tip of the iceberg when it came to the amount of fuckery, specifically in higher taxes that, that the Virginia Democrats are pushing on the state in rapid fashion. I saw a new article literally every other day for about a week and I gathered all my sources. So these are just the, the bills they have proposed within a week's time frame. That is how insanely fast and insanely maniacal they are pushing through all of this, these uh, tax raises and taking away our rights and making this place more livable, just at it, like, it would be bad if you saw a, a tax, uh, a bill that rose taxes, you know, twice a year. That would still affect you pretty severely. This is like five different sources in one week. They, they are just babies who found their parents' credit card just going ape shit with this shit. Ape shit with this shit. Oh, yeah. Um, before I start the video, uh, let me talk about my sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Um, so the first article is talking about Virginia collective bargaining bill would trigger nearly $4 billion in state and local tax hikes. That is an astronomical amount of taxes, in case you didn't realize that $4 billion was a big number. This is already on top of Virginia paying astronomically high taxes compared to the rest of the country. We already saw with the meal tax in the previous video how people were saying from you know all over the country or the world would come here say hey th this tax is just as high if not higher than like california new york city like the big places the the go-to places in the country and virginia is is keeping up with them that's how high our taxes are here if you make half the average income in counties like fairfax prince william stafford loudon whatever i think i said loudon twice uh, Alexander, Arlington, whatever, if you make less than half of the average salary there, you still pay close to 25% of your entire income in different types of taxes. And that's not even counting the sales tax. That, that's just income, Medicaid, uh, Social Security, state tax, whatever. That's not even talking about once you actually get that money, then you pay, then you buy more stuff, and you're taxed again. So on top of all of this already crippling taxes that we already have, they're proposing even higher. And this is just one out of the five sources that I have. The Virginia House of Delegates passed House Bill 582 on February 6th. It is now awaiting action in the Senate. HB 582 would insert highly political government worker labor unions into contract uh, ne negotiations between public employees and local governments. A practice known as collective bargaining meaning taxpayers would be on the hook for higher costs. The only question is how much the cost will be higher. The city of Roanoke, for example, estimated the city's costs were increased by at least $28.3 million if the proposal became law. According to a World Bank study, collective bargaining increases employment costs by 15%. An increase of that magnitude would cost the state an additional $1.46 billion a year, according to Virginia Department of Planning and Budget. Meanwhile, local government's overall costs would increase by $2.5 billion with a handful of local government employees in excluded from the proposal's scope. Together, that comes to nearly $4 billion in higher government employment costs every year. A property tax is the primary source of tax revenue in Virginia. And side note, I know this is complete, completely fucking retarded. You get property taxed on your vehicles in Virginia. Isn't that fucking insane? They consider, they consider vehicles property. So in this clown world that we live in, in this state, a homeless person can be living in his car in the middle of a dump or a side of a street or something, and he would still have to play, pay, play. No, he's not playing around, man. They ain't playing around in these streets. He would have to pay property tax. A homeless people 
have to pay property taxes in this state. That's how fucked up this state is. If Virginia local governments had to cover an additional $2.5 billion a year with higher property tax collections, Virginia's property taxes would need to go up by 18%. And the property taxes, if you look it up at those counties I mentioned before, Loudoun, Prince William, Stafford, uh, Arlington, for example, those property taxes are in fucking sane. Thousands and thousands of dollars a year just in property tax. You're getting taxed on property that you legally own. Your income is taxed by 25%, and that's the lowest. The lowest tax bracket is 25%. If you make more, then it's close to 50%. Over 50% of your entire income is gobbled up by the state. What are they spending all this money on? We're going to get into that. Covering the state's share would require uh, increasing the state's income tax top rate, which applies to all income above $17,000 from 5.75% to 6%. Or adding a percentage point on the sales tax. So the t- this is this is for state tax. This is not in- this is not income tax. But for state income tax, they include the top bracket is everything above seventeen thousand dollars. That covers almost everyone in the state who doesn't who like part time teenage workers make less than seventeen thousand dollars a year. Basically, anyone working any remotely close to full time makes more than seventeen thousand dollars because the average salary in this county is ninety thousand. And they, so almost everyone pays the top tax bracket. Are you fucking kidding me? You can make less than the av- less than half of the average in this state and you still pay the top tax bracket. Are you fucking kidding me? Give us a fucking break. But no, they don't want to give us a break. They want to make it worse. They want us to pay more taxes on, co- on top of what we're already paying. If a Virginia lawmaker proposed 15% higher costs for state and local government employees at a cost of nearly $4 billion, the proposal would never get a hearing. That sort of money simply is in the budget. And Virginia voters will never stand for a four, uh, four billion tax increase. Well, that's exactly what they're getting if HB 582 becomes law, only without the scrutiny and with the higher cost only showing up after the law takes place. And no one can do anything about it because Democrats control every single aspect of the government. Democrats are not going to shoot their own ideas down. They are a hive mind. They vote for ridiculous, horrible policy that are objectively bad and objectively pl- makes places worse to live in and harder, and harder to make a living, but they just don't care. Either they are so insulated, they are so ignorant of the problems around them, they're like the dog with the fire around in the house, like, this is fine. This is fine. Like, all those people in California, it's like, this is a great state. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Have you stepped outside your gated community and see what a shithole your state is? No, you haven't. That's the problem. They haven't. So either Democrats are so ignorant because they live in gated communities in their million-dollar mansions, they don't see how their policies that they're voting in for are fucking up the rest of the state, or they're so wealthy that they, they know what they're doing. Like, yeah, I'm going to pay more taxes, but I don't care because I make so much fucking money. I'm so, so fucking loaded that I don't give a shit. So with all these higher taxes, uh, wh- why do you think Democrats are doing that? What's their motive here? What's their, what's their end game, y'all? What's their thought process? Let's get inside the mind of a Democrat. It's a pretty, pretty empty place, by the way. But, uh, well, here's, here's one uh, proposal they're putting up um, from a local station, WRVA. Virginia Democrats push taxpayer subsidized tuition for illegal aliens. Oh, so instead of rounding them up and kicking them out of this country because they are drained on our resources and they commit all this crime they shouldn't even be here and they didn't follow the law um we're going to give them taxpayer subsidized tuition for college oh so that's where those taxes are going for we're going to take it from hard-working americans who are struggling their asses off in this state and would struggle even more with these higher taxes and just give it to an illegal alien who pays nothing in income state medicare social security tax at all Nothing, because their job is on the black market, or they use a fake social security card. I did a video a long time ago, put up on the screen, about how all these taxes that only apply to Americans, and the fact that America is creating a black market economy for all these illegal immigrants to avoid all of these taxes, is creating a hierarchy, a caste system in this country, where if you're an illegal alien, you get all the benefits of a citizen, you can vote, you have subsidized tuition, you can, vote, you can have a driver's license, you can get a job, you can get a bank loan, you can get a house loan, all this stuff, but you don't pay into the system that finances all that crap. You can get Social Security, you can get Medicare, you can just get all this free, free, uh, free health care, all of these benefits, but you don't pay into it. Meanwhile, hardworking Americans have to pay into this system. That's creating a privileged, 
a privileged caste, a privileged, and I can talk to a privileged class of people who enjoy all these benefits because of their status, and other people don't. So you th you thought there were there were, that was the only taxes I was talking about? There's the only a tax uh, tax increase I'm talking about? Oh no, oh no, we are just getting started with this bullshit. Northam, gun grabbing, baby killing, blackface Northam, that same guy, the guy who's like legit mentally retarded. Uh, who wants to make it a crime to harass him online, which I guess I'm uh, enemy number one in that case because I've made so many videos making fun of this fucking idiot. Not only does he want to increase the taxes that I mentioned, he wants to propose a gas tax hike that would cost a typical uh, Virginia family nearly $250 a year. Wait, $250 a year? That's not too bad, Robert. What are you talking about? In addition to all of this crap, yes, it is. It's just one more nail in the coffin. It's like I'm already struggling... I, we work because thousands of people in this in this county and in this country that work so fucking hard is burdened by all of these taxes and government regulations. And then just it just oh we're gonna kick you while you're laying down instead of like working to help you as the government should. And when I say help, I mean like protect your rights, not help you as give you all this free crap. No, they're not supposed to give us free crap. Those to help us into getting out of our lives as much as possible so we can live our lives to the full potential as much as possible while protecting our rights. That is the only function of government, to protect our rights. Everything else, all these other uh, giving and taxing and wealth redistribution and all stuff, all that's unconstitutional. But we're getting off topic here. So yeah, he just went, he's just like, well, we're, already t we're taxing him, uh, we're taxing even more than, uh, than what we already are, and our taxes are already at a record high. Let's just, let's just tax him on gas hike. This isn't a tax, but it's still another benefit to add to the illegal alien uh, caste system that this country is uh, giving. This is another added benefit that they are going to give illegal aliens uh, without paying into the into the system that uh, that runs it. Another privilege, another unearned privilege. Um, House Democrats vote to remove Virginia photo ID requirement for voting. Well, who could that who could that benefit? Could it be people like illegal immigrants who have a hard time getting a photo photo ID? Could it be for uh, certain ethnicities that usually lack getting a photo ID? who just overwhelmingly 80, 90% plus vote Democrat? I'm sure that's just a coincidence. I'm sure that's just one big fat coincidence that has nothing to do with pointing with broader trends in this country or any type of uh, manipulation of the system to try to get more votes illegally or you know try to scam the system and try to just win all the elections you know, uh, underhandedly. I'm sure that has nothing to do with it. It's just a coincidence. They just want to ease access to voting. What's wrong with that, man? Voting's a right, right? Like, come on, dude. What's the problem, bro? Another bill that uh, Senate Democrats passed that, again, I'm sure none of these are uh, connected at all. Uh, House Bill 262 expressly forbids law enforcement officers of any kind in Virginia questioning anyone about their immigration status if that person claims to be either a victim of a crime or is a witness to a crime. Think, that for, think about that for a minute. If someone is arrested for murder, but tells law enforcement he acts in self-defense, the law absolutely prohibits law enforcement from ever questioning his immigration status, even in, if the murder was in cold blood. Witnessed by dozens, captured on videotape, or if that claim of self-defense is otherwise uh, patently frivolous. Same goes for a claim that the person is a witness to a crime. What criminal is not a witness to the crime they committed? So what's the bottom line? Anyone in Virginia for a crime, violent or not, who has the concerns about his or her immigration status and potential deportation needs only to aver that they are a, wit a victim or a witness of a crime, and this new law will prohibit law enforcement from inquiring with immigration status or communicating with ICE. Wow, I'm, that's that's uh, that's quite a unearned privilege that goes again. We'll just mark that in a tally mark about this this uh, all these benefits that this illegal immigrant caste class gets in this country now. Now all you have to say is, oh, I'm a victim of crime, I'm a witness to a crime, and you won't get found out that, oh, I'm actually a violent MS-13 uh, gang member. Oh, I actually stole five times. Oh, I actually raped two people. Just amazing. And our last tax, wait, you thought I was done. You thought I was done. Oh, no, no, sorry, was not done with taxes. Um, in addition to the, the first tax, the four, four billion taxes, that could potentially be paid in part by increasing property taxes. But we don't know exactly what they're going to do with that. Regardless, we're going to see our taxes increase. But resident Cunt Ann Wheeler has already elected to raise the property tax, and it's completely separate from the potential other property tax raise that could be a result of the four-point billion tax hike. 
Alert, one of the largest tax increases in Prince William County history. Last night, Chair Wheeler passed an advertised residential tax rate that increased the rate from $1.12 to $1.17. Increased the motor vehicle auto and truck license fee, increased the motorcycle license fee, and introduced a new tax on all boats and tra trailers. This would be one of the largest tax increases in Prince William County history. In addition, she gave no public notice that an advertised tax rate was going to be on the agenda. This, this lack of transparency continues to be the very concerning uh, and did not give the citizens an opportunity to share their concerns before the board voted. So there you have it. That's, and I went through this pretty fast because there, there was a lot of, there's a lot of different, sub, di different uh, sources here. That, in, just to uh, conclude all this, that was in one week. That was in one week of the Democrats being assholes in the state government. Who knows what they're going to do next week. I'm going to keep my eye out and keep on reporting all this stuff because I want to document the downhill spiral that this uh, state is going through thanks to the Democrats controlling every single aspect of the government and just ramming through objectively horrible policies. How can you sit there and look at all that stuff I just talked about and just say, yep, that's perfectly fine. Yep, that's totally not going to like make people's lives more difficult. Of course, that's not breaking the constitution. Of course, that's not giving um, illegal aliens more benefits than American citizens who are paying for all their welfare and all these benefits. That's, that's fine. There's no, there's no big deal. Brainwashed zombies, AKA Democrats, millions of them in this state believe those are all good ideas. That's why they voted for the politicians who said they would do exactly this. None of this is a surprise to anyone. I'm furious about it, but I'm not surprised because Democrats for years have been saying they wanted to do this. Northam tried to get his gun control stuff uh, passed um, back in 2018. I did a video on that, too. I'll put that up. But back then, the Republicans controlled the Senate and they shot everything down. So he just waited a year. He waited for the demographic, demographic change of the state to kick in another year. So he has more uh, minority votes and more Democrats fleeing other shithole states, mostly from California. You can't believe how many Californians are here. He just waited a year, bide his time, and then waited for the elections, and boom, he got the Senate, thanks to demographic change, thanks to white flights, thanks uh, the the white Republicans are just like, enough of this fucking shit, dog. We are so fed up with you. You're ruining our, our, our homes, our the places we grew up in. You're just ruining it. So he just bided his time, and then now he, got, now he had full control of the um, government. He crammed through all those gun control bills in a matter of weeks. He, was, he said he's going to do the same thing with taxes. Democrats are completely open to the fact that they're going to raise taxes on seemingly every single thing they get their grubby little hands on, as well as invent new taxes. They said this from the beginning during their campaigns, and all these stupid Democrats just clapped their hands and said, yep, that's what I want. I want to pay more taxes to the government. I want to give more money to legal immigrants so I don't appear racist. Who cares that, you know, it's going to bite me in the ass once, uh, <clears throat> sorry, once this entire state goes down the fucking tubes. No, I don't care. I, I feel good that I'm not racist, so it's perfectly fine. So that was the Virginia update. Um, I'll let you know what else is going on. Um, it's been several days since I actually found something. I guess they over exhausted themselves with all that bullshit in one week. So they're taking a break for the coming up with new stupid ideas. They're probably in brainstorming sessions. Like, how can we fuck over the average Virginia even more? And they're just waiting, just biding their time and their grubby little hands and the grubby little corners of caves of gold. And uh, they're going to announce a whole slew of other crap soon so i'll let you know what's going on guys come on dude what's the problem bro